Hello you guys, it is Beach Viking here from Doom Claim Designs, also from King Graphics. How are you guys doing today? Today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to make a clean, professional, very simple thumbnail. To me, thumbnails aren't meant to be all flashy and sure, we don't have to add a lot of graphics. We just need a couple of key elements. As you guys can see here, we are doing a Titanfall thumbnail today. All thumbnails are pretty simple. Thumbnails when it comes to Call of Duty. Titanfall, South Park, it's all pretty simple. All you basically need is a background. You guys can see here, I made a template with a couple of backgrounds already installed of it. And you need an element for the text. You need some type of element. Now, if we, ch if we go to YouTube, now if we go to YouTube and we check out the, the stand, standby for Titanfall, just gonna play it real quick. I don't want to get any. Uh... Sorry. All right, it's right there. All right, it's right there. That's the element. This is from one of their commercials. It's very elegant. It's kind of techy, and it just has a tech feel and just has the right look for a Titanfall. So that's why I got this element from, and that's why we're gonna bring it here into the thumbnail. So we're just gonna get right into the thumbnail. First of all, I create my thumbnails at you go to pixels. You're going to want it at 1920 by 1080. And you don't, you can have a resolution of 300, but it really just at 72. I'm just going to keep it like this right now. I'm going to name it Temp. Actually, I'm going to name it TN Temp for Thumbnail Temp. So we have our thumbnail template. It's going to create a new layer. Delete the background layer. Now, as I said, you want background images of whatever gameplay you're gonna have. So for the template, I just downloaded these all from Google. Just type in Titanfall and I read, and I search for 1920, but for any any size over 1920 by 1080. Well, actually no, it was 10, anything over 1080p. I just looked for all of those. And uh, so we have all these background images and stuff. And so then, we can go ahead and start off with the background with this the small element here. First of all, I have a, a little rectangle. Just a little rectangle. You rasterize this rectangle. Change the fill to about 30. Change the opacity to about 80. Change the blender mode to overlay. And now we have a little element. We might play a, a play with that just a little bit more. Now Photoshop, I have this thing. It's called a uh, flat icons. This is a website. It's called Flat Icons, and you can basically, like it says here, you have fonts, plugins, and vector icons. And this is where I, uh, I have a plugin. It's a Photoshop plugin. And whenever I need like a symbol or anything, I just type it in here. It comes with a lot of stuff like YouTube. It has a lot of just symbols. Like if you're looking for a symbol for like website design or anything, you can find it here. And so I basically, or you can just you can just look it up on the internet. Just look for a plus sign, any old plus sign. This is the one I use here. You just click it and drag it. There it is. You can rasterize it if you want. Now I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it. You have your plus sign here, so you can either use this plus sign. And you basically go from this edge to this edge to this edge. And you're going to cut out the rest of it. Make your selection. Then hit Control X. And you cut it out. And then you go right click. You can go to Blended Modes or you can double click it. Go to Color Overlay and change it to White. And now, we have our elements. Very big though. Then you just hit Alt. You hit Control T. And you can rotate it. Actually, since it's already, I'm just put it up here. You can rotate it. Bring it back down. Hit the number where you can transform it. Go to Transform. Go to Vertical. Hit it again. Go to edit, transform, and rotate it horizontally down. And you have your elements. You might want to cover up the black just a little bit. 
Not all the way, just a little bit. On each one. Alright. And that's one way you can do it. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit. Alright, it's not gonna look like because I don't have the textures in it. Or another way you can do it is this is the clean layer. You can take your pencil yet again. You can probably do a freehand or you can just use this as a template. Go one, two, three, three points, that's it. Then you go to your brush tool. Uh, make sure it's hard and you can put it on five. You can make it as big as you want though. Like if you want it this big, you might want to make the point on 15. This is just another way you can control it. You can control the size of it. Then you right click, you go to stroke pad, go to your brush and go to simulate pressure. Press OK. Actually, I'm going to redo that because I want it to be white. Make sure your foreground color is the color that you want that you want it to be. Go to stroke pad and go to OK. And now we have one. Let's go ahead and delete these. And now we have it. Deselect the show pad. Now we have the small little ones. Cover it up a little bit. Now, like I said, alt. Uh, you can go there, go to vertical. There you go. Copy this one. Go to edit, transform, horizontal. Go to the first one again. Go to edit, transform, horizontal. And we have all of our stuff. Now, this is where, actually let's just go ahead and go, get to the text. Let's get to the text. Just create the text. I don't know any text for Titanfall yet. I don't know what type of gameplays they will be having. So we're just gonna go to walkthrough. Who the heck is calling me? It's a bill collector. No. Go to walkthroughs. Uh, make it smaller. 30. Walkthrough. We'll do part one. Maybe make this one a little bit bigger. Uh, put it on 50. And let's actually have it say part one. Part one. Walk through. Sorry for all the technology. Alright, so you're going to double click. Uh, You're going to double click the layer. God damn. Phone. Let me put it on silent. Give me a second. All right, you're gonna double click the layer, go to gradient. This is how you create your own layer styles. You're gonna have it go from gray to white. So you want a little bit of a dark gray, and just let it go to white, and then you have your drop shadow. You can just turn the drop shadow down just a little bit, because we want it there, but we don't want it all the way. Just to give it a little feel to it, then hit hold alt, and drag it down from the FX to the last part. Now we're basically done now, you can do some fancy stuff to the background. Now this is what I'm going to include inside the template. It's just going to give the whole thing this, this dark, like it has some CC to it basically, but it's not really CC. I have these two layers on top. You have this one little texture to give it that dark feel. And then you have this vinaigrette with a, he with a hexagonal texture inside of it. And it, it just darken up the edges. And you put both of them together, you get a nice looking CC for any picture you, you put it on this see and I'm, I'm going to include both these textures inside the template so if you would like to download it and here we go that's basically it and then if you do want to create some CC and I will say bring it underneath the text so the text looks different from uh, everything goes and bring it underneath the, uh, the bar as well. Actually, you might yeah, it might look better over top of it. Yeah, actually it does. And uh, and go to the bar yet again. I'm sorry about this. And you might want to stroke it and then lower the opacity a little bit and give it a little bit of an inner shadow and lower that 
a little bit as well. And we're gonna make the stroke about a one. And that's gonna give it another tight little feel to it. And if you want, you can out you can add more CC if you want to change the color, maybe. Change the color, go to color right. And you can change the color of your background. Go to human saturation. If you want the whole thing, you just want a little bit. Just want to give it a little tint. How we gave it that blue little tint, you can do it like that. Change the opacity. Maybe give it a little, little overlay. And that's how you can change the tint of your background. If you wanted to make it a little bit more vibrant, go to your, your vibrance. Just scan it all the way up. You can do saturation too, but it might make it bleed a little bit. You don't want it too much. You really want the brightness up because the vibrance is gonna is gonna bring out those colors. And there you go. You have a nice, clean looking template. And that vibrance kind of killing it a little bit. You wanna bump that down a little bit more. All right, now you have a nice, clean looking template. I hope you guys really did enjoy the tutorial today. Don't forget to write your comments down below on what the next tutorial should be. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the... I'm going to finally teach you guys how to animate lower thirds inside After Effects. Uh, so, yeah. This is Doom King yet again, and I'm out. It's your boy, Beast King. Please, in the words of practice, make peace, not war. I love you guys. Peace out.